Hello, good morning and welcome back to Talking Your Walk and this is June Meager and I'm talking to ordinary people that are doing extraordinary things uh, with their life and, and, and as a result of that they're actually helping other people so that's always a good thing. So um, today I've got with me the wonderful Amanda Vernos and Amanda lives in Shrewsbury and she is um, a, a yoga instructor down at the Centre for Integral Health and she's also a Reiki master and does various other disciplines. So we're going to have a wee chat to Amanda and see how she got on the path that she's on now. So good morning Amanda and how are you doing? Morning, June. I'm doing. I'm doing really well, thank you. I'm doing really good. Yeah, and enjoying the time. The time off, really. The time off, even though it's not really time off. Because <laughs> I see that you've been posting little things on the internet as well, haven't you? And you're, yeah. you're, you're, you're doing some good stuff out there. So, so can I ask? As I ask everybody that you know, I, I, I talk with, what? What were you like as a child? What kind of child were you? Um, I was really out there as a child. I was um, quite sort of shy, but I was very imaginative. Apparently, I used to see fairies and different things as a child. Um, my mum used to think I was just temperature was high, and she'd be like, "Oh, she's just hallucinating." Yet here I am, <laughs> seeing fairies anyway. But um, yeah, I was I was quite quiet. I really enjoyed being with trees and nature, and um, yeah, I really that sort of thing. Quite outgoing when I was older, but um, but yeah, very much into what I'm into now. So I'm not really much much different. I wouldn't say. Okay, so so was there any subjects at school that you particularly liked or excelled at, or did you find the sort of later stages of school? Um, difficult or couldn't you wait to leave? Um, I, I was bullied at school so that was quite tough but um, I did I did enjoy science, I really enjoyed science and English. I didn't do very well because my head wasn't really into the subjects. I was into boys, I was terrible, I was, just, I was chasing boys. <laughs> <laughs> And you, and you say you were bullied, so that's quite tough when you're a young person, isn't it? So, so how did yeah. you cope with that? Did you get any help to help you with that, or did you um, sort yeah. of just 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 get through that, ignore them, or try and avoid them? How did yeah. you cope? Um, I just sort of I just ignored them. It was only ever boys. I never really got bullied by girls. It was only, boys were just really nasty to me. Um, I had one boy who, when we were on the bus, he was sticking a pin in my arm, and I just I think um, I really built up the like resilience that just to really ignore it. It was like power, power of the mind, and I just used to ignore them. Um, and these were like boys that were older than me, and obviously I'm small anyway, so they were taller, they were much bigger. Um, but I think just ignoring them and just not that's that's what my dad used to say was ignore them and they'll go away, and they did. But it was tough. It was tough. I did hate going to school. I really dreaded it. Um, but I just, I just got on and, and that was it really. I was quiet. I went to the library a lot, which doesn't really change now. I still go to the library, but yeah, that's how I coped. I just went to the library and was one of the quiet ones, I suppose. So you say you go to the library, what sort of books were you reading in the library? Can you remember? Yeah, it was, it was always science. It was um, science and it was sort of uh, like storybooks as well, but mostly science. I, I've always had a fas fascination with science and how things work and why they work, like how and why. Mm -hmm. so that was just what we used to, we used to do. Oh, fantastic. So yeah. you've got this inquisitive mind and in that you've left school, presumably. Um, did you go into study or did you go into jobs or how did your life fold when you left school? Um, yeah, I left school with pretty much next to nothing. I just, um, I think on to the later years of school, I, um, yeah, I met some bad, well not bad people, but I, I got into some bad habits and it didn't serve me well. So my head wasn't into work, so I left with pretty much nothing. Um, and then I went into college and did 
um, beauty therapy, but I, I left at my very last week because I just wasn't well and I didn't qualify, but I was the best in my class. Um, so I, I just left that and um, I think I must have been 18. Um, it took a year out um, that I did have a drinking issue and I just I wasn't very happy at that time in my life. I had some going on which I didn't quite know how to deal with and I sunk into depression. So I, I sort of left um, college and took some years out and then um, I got into meditation actually around about 18 as well. I got into meditation at 18 and that's when I started to want to get rid of these um, these um, things that had happened to me that have made me angry and very depressed and, and wanted to um, not be here on the earth anymore. I, I wanted to change that and have a different outlook. So I got into meditation and started to study like crystals and, and sound vibration and how to get out of that mindset and, and heal myself when um, other things weren't working when I was going to the doctors. So, so getting into meditation, you know, considering that you'd never been into anything like that before, that must have been um, quite a, a, an interesting experience, your first time getting into that. Yeah, it was, um, I, I just, when you start it, well, for me, I, I'd start to meditate and I'd be like, I'm meditating. I'd get all excited and I completely would lose that whole day and it would happen every time um and not, now i can i can uh, meditate and go off different places and it's it's my favorite thing to do it's all it's it's just my favorite it it really settles me down i meditation is is i think one of the best medicines out there yeah i i wasn't um like the typical first um, time you do meditation, you're like, what's going on? But I, I would feel as soon as I'd start to really melt in, I'd be like, yes, I've done it. Now I've lost it. <laughs> A little bit of resistance there, was there? But, yes. You know, uh, so, so you went on and you learned about crystals and then you um, went on and uh, what you, you went into sound as well, sound vibration. Uh, you went into Reiki, you did yeah. your... Reiki courses. Um, yeah. You you had a small family, didn't you? You did you did you have your children then or? Yeah. So um, I studied Reiki. I think I, um, I I dipped my toe in with spiritual healing, and it just blew my mind. I just I absolutely loved it. Just, just feeling and and seeing people's auras. I mean, this was stuff I'd. I'd already been doing everything that I'd sort of started to learn and, and when I went into spiritual healing um, I'd already it's, it's like that's how I lived my life so when I started to see it and it was like well well I, oh I found my place it's like oh and this is normal people I see people's auras and waves and things it was normal um, so I did that and then I did Reiki fell in love with Reiki and and how magical and amazing and just how wide it is as a, as a subject and it's I think it should be taught everyone should do it I think it's like an amazing basis for life um, and then I had my two children when I did I think when I was 23 I had well, 23 when I had Ophelia and then 20 no I was 24 and then I was 26 and I had Evie and that's when I was doing Reiki and I and, I, and it, it just saved me it because I went into prenatal and postnatal depression um to the point i couldn't be in the kitchen because i thought i was going to do something um i'll never forget that day and I, I just had to sit outside and i just breathed and just remembered it's just my mind it's trying to give me the quickest way out which isn't the best way out and i just sat there and, and breathed and meditated and, and that's always what i go back to but yeah i had my children and yeah so i'm here and then you get into yoga. Yes. It, yeah, I, I just I just love the free flow and I, I love dancing. I love being creative. I think the body should be moved and loved and, and it's something for yourself. So um yoga was something that just felt 
so natural and I used to just again it was it was really weird with, with yoga it was like I, I used to be one of those weird people who would just be doing strange things like outside like with my friends they'd be like what are you doing Amanda I'd be like well I just feel like moving and I found out like that's yoga um so I started yoga and I've, I've done it online I haven't been able to go out and travel because obviously having the girls um but I've studied loads online and I've got my qualifications and yeah it's I just I just really really love it I just love the whole background of yoga and it it feels so sacred it it I, I live and breathe everything that I do it, it whenever I feel lost and um and I'm not sinking into doing yoga or, or meditation or reiki it's always what i fall back to i roll out my mat and even if i just stay there in child's pose and cry i know i've done something and that sometimes that's all yoga can be yeah that you know it's amazing that you say when you're working through the post and prenatal depression that you used you know meditation as a tool and i think that's a great tool for just going within, sitting centered, sitting quiet and being and, and just allowing your thoughts to raise and, 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 and that. I mean, did you use meditation as a tool to maybe some of the other alternatives that were out there, maybe like um, hormone replacement or anything like that? You, you, you were using the yoga and the Reiki and things like yeah. that to <laughs> and that that's a marvelous way to because that gives lets me see that you know underneath your small fragile appearance as such because you are yeah. petite yeah. you know um that there's a really very strong woman in there who you know will not let her mind dictate her future <laughs> yes yeah <laughs> did, did, that's what's happening here, I think. Yeah. And it's great to see that you're doing your yoga and you're, um, you're doing that um, online. I can see that you put up different things as well. But you, you're also doing that at the Centre for Integral Health. Yeah. And that must have been a great boost for your confidence as well when you set up your own business to to do your, your therapies, you know, yeah. because if you're saying you've left school, you've, you know, um, weren't happy there, you, you had a few horrendous in incidents, um, and then you went on to do your beauty, you dropped out that very last week, which, you know, is, is such a shame, but at the same time, it opened other doors for you that you, you went through and and that was the secret, wasn't it? When these things come up, you did go into, you did um, explore and you did uh, commit and, 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 you know, do the training required, which is quite a lot when you look at the things that you're looking at, crystals and Reiki and that as well. Mm. So um, you opening your business must have been like a dream come true. Uh, it was. It was still now to the, the day and um i just i just can't believe i am i'm doing it i'm sat in front of my like my goal board and my other vision board and things and it was it was just brilliant and for years i struggled i do have dyslexia and my brain makes things much more difficult than what they actually are and i find that quite frustrating um but i was like i'm determined i want to do it i want to help people um, who have been severely depressed, wanting to take their lives, and they're, they're going through the most awful stuff. Um, I've, hi, I've been there, I've done it, and I'm here, and, and, I'm, and I'm living proof, and I want to help people, and, and for them to have just these little tools um, when they do feel you know, they're falling back mentally or physically or anything that they can go and sit down and they, they can pull out a tool book and they can go, what sits right for me today? If I sit and meditate or if I do some yoga, is it physical? Is it mental? But they've got something. And if I can share what I've learned and can help people um, live their life fully, then that's, that's my dream, really. That's what I want to do. And that's what makes you so special as well isn't it um so so now you've got your business you you know if people watching this thought right i want to get you know have a chat with my how can how can they get in contact you what's the best way is it through facebook 
yeah through through facebook through instagram um and you can contact me through the center for integral health and that was a great achievement i remember having my little interview with ben and i was like i'm not good enough um, i'm a fake um it's that imposter syndrome that you get and i was like um, no, i just won't get in i just i went very much in my shell i was just like very nervous and um and he said yeah that's that's it great fantastic i was like so uh, i'm a part of the team and he goes yep you're in he goes i go by my gut and i was just like oh my god this is amazing oh, it's real i was just so excited i was like i've done it i've actually done it uh, it was just amazing but you can get me there as well and i am quite excitable that's why i do a lot of meditation i think to just bring me down <laughs> But then you must have been doing cartwheels home that day, I think. I was. I was. I was so excited. Yeah, I think I brought myself um, a chocolate bar and a bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> Always a good thing to celebrate. Yeah. Uh, uh, Amanda, thank you so much for, for, for sharing your journey. And, and you know, it, it's also so heartwarming to hear that, you know, when, especially you talk about being bullied, and you've came through that and, and you know for anybody who's maybe watching this who are either going through a similar situation or maybe have children going through a similar a similar situation you know that what how you um survived that is, is really quite heartwarming but what also is great is the fact that you know despite not having the the, the qualifications that maybe you could have done if, if some of the things didn't happen to you and and, and uh, your ill health as well you have bounced back, you've opened your business, you're living your dream. And, you know, that's that's a wonderful story, isn't it? Yeah, 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 thank you, thank yeah. you. Yeah, it's... I think you should be so proud of yourself because you're, you're, you're doing some great stuff. Yeah. And you've raised you. a couple of wonderful daughters as well. Oh, they're, yeah, Back they're in... amazing. They're, they're just like me. They got obviously their own little personalities and they're into different things but they they do like to do their yoga meditation um we did me and me and evie yesterday we lay down on the sofa and we listened to some sound bowls and because evie's she's like me she's quite up there she's always on the go and i thought right i'm gonna get hematite out and i'm just gonna say evie you just hold that and you fall asleep and she did and it did ground her and um yeah it was, i'm just so proud of them People do say they are good kids and that makes you proud. Yeah, yeah, but then you should be proud of yourself as well because you've got a big, you've had a big hand in that, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Being like um, a single parent. Um, Rob is very good, father, very, very good. But yeah, I've, I have done quite a lot of it myself. And yeah, 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 absolutely. And that's the thing, you don't realise how much you've achieved until you do something like this and you talk and then you think, wow, you and, know. Uh, <laughs> yeah i just it you just don't you just i think sometimes you can get so caught up on on what's happened to you that you kind of forget how far you've come and i watched um one of the other interviews yesterday and it was karen and she, she, i think you've both said that you just don't put yourself on the back for everything that you've done when you've gone through absolute hell and you don't want to be here yet you've got that determination and you're going to go and do it and and it really it really hit me and and i thought i have been in places that haven't been nice and i've struggled for many 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 years and i'm and i'm here and i've done it and then it's just like yeah well done just well done no matter small or big the little feet getting out of bed well done like well done pat yourself on the back and keep going Oh, well deserved amanda so thank you so much for joining me today it's been great to see you and speak with you uh, i hope to catch up with you soon it's one event something down the line somewhere Absolutely. and um I'll, I'll, I'll thanks again take care thank you so much thank you for having me thank you oh you're welcome bye -bye. take care bye